Our Easter season is a time of great joy, and yet we know that while Jesus rose from the dead to bring us life and light and joy, there's still death and darkness and sorrow in the world. Pope Benedict recognized this as well in his message on Easter Sunday. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and I want to share part of that message with you today. Here's what he said. If it is true that death no longer has power over man and over the world, there still remain very many, in fact too many, signs of its former dominion. Even if, through Easter, Christ has destroyed the root of evil, he still wants the assistance of men and women in every time and place who help him to affirm his victory using his own weapons, the weapons of justice and truth, mercy, forgiveness and love. At a time of world food shortage, of financial turmoil, of old and new forms of poverty, of disturbing climate change, of violence and deprivation which force many to leave their homelands in search of a less precarious form of existence, of the ever-present threat of terrorism, of growing fears over the future, it is urgent to rediscover grounds for hope. Let no one draw back from this peaceful battle that has been launched by Christ's resurrection. For as I said earlier, Christ is looking for men and women who will help him to affirm his victory using his own weapons, the weapons of justice and truth, mercy, forgiveness, and love. The resurrection of Christ is our hope. This the church proclaims today with joy. She announces the hope that is now firm and invincible because God has raised Jesus Christ from the dead. She wishes to communicate the hope that she carries in her heart and wishes to share with all people in every place.